What's up guys? Today I figured, you know what the hell, make a review on this uh, clamp meter. So I got this off Amazon and this is the AC-DC one and this is the one I'd recommend. My last video when I was talking about the uh, anticipator, the heat anticipator on the thermostat, which we'll get to in a minute, but uh, the AC one, yeah it's cheaper, but the AC-DC one is worth you know more it, it, it depends on what you're gonna do but for me it fits more so I sent the other one back and I got the AC DC one and actually there's 20% off so instead of 47.99 or whatever the hell it was it was like uh, $40 and 69 cents with tax so you got that clamp meter here which uh, will get a demonstration on how that works but the cool thing with this it comes with a temperature probe so if you think your thermostat is off take and hold this next to it and I just did that and found it was good also comes with the multimeter cables you uh, pull these little protectors off and you have the full uh, probes there these ends you know have caps on them too so you gotta pull them out and then uh, these leads and this temperature probe left is uh, your common ground and then the right is your positive and then to squeeze this you know to t check amp current draw you would uh, squeeze that put one wire in between there and uh, the other thing that's cool with this is if we turn it on we can see that's off and then 600 amps it's good for 60 amp volt and then you got your Hertz and then you got multiple uh, functions here which is ohms diode continuity stuff like that and you can select with this button what they do and then uh, you have your Celsius and Fahrenheit and then you have your low Z so uh, this button over here turns the backlight on and if you hold this in it's really cool you have a little uh, flashlight there so that will come in handy when I show you the current amp draw on my thermostat but uh, anyway let's take this over to the thermostat alright so the lights have been on in here and it's gonna affect this but if we look here you can see that's at what 75 seven, yeah, about 76 degrees and if we put this up here to Celsius and we just hold the probe anywhere here uh, it's reading 77 so again you know it's very accurate and that's a good way to test if your thermostat is actually right another thing I forgot to mention on this meter and uh, just before I do the current draw test there's a button on the side here so if you you set this at 600 amp 60 amp or voltage this little tip up here uh, you'll see here on the screen we hold that in it's gonna change to NCV so that's gonna check for a hot AC line the same as this little meter would do so this meter if we come down here into the boiler and we that's you know you could tell that's hot so that that black is hot this line is hot and then the furnace just shut off so you know you're not getting no voltage through there but this is your line in same thing if we come up here this is neutral that's ground and you stick that in there that's your hot so that's you know what that tool does now with this tool as long as you're in that range you take the little part and we can touch that and you can see the screen turns red and it says it's hot so it's warning you it's hot same thing with the line that's that line is hot right now this line it's saying low voltage so it's still telling you like that other meter you know it really didn't say anything this is still telling you it has voltage in it so it's you know hot but it's a low AC current where this one doesn't have any same thing if we come up here you touch the neutral it's showing you low ground shows nothing 
and uh, you got to get that right in the right spot and hopefully the camera's picking that up but there's low voltage there so if you get this meter you don't need to get this one all right so if we go ahead and set this at 60 amps and we want to be on AC probably see it better without the backlight what we're gonna do is come down here and uh, up here this part right here you got the white and the green wire that's your TT that's your thermostat all I did is take an alligator clip and you can see it's hooked on to the pole and then the other part is hooked on to the white line or the white wire and then uh, what we're gonna simply do is you'll take your clamp you'll open it up you'll hook it around that wire and right now you could see it is reading zero that's because the burners off so right there we're on AC and you could see you're gonna have to leave this uh, run a little bit so anyway I'm not gonna stand here any longer or stoop here any longer but this is how you get your current draw then you'll times it by 1.2 and then you can set your heat anticipator after you do that calculation. Now the other way to do this is my alligator clip isn't long enough to get 10 wraps. But what you would do is wrap a wire with this close 10 times around. Then you would take each terminal and you would come down here. And I don't got enough hands to do this. But you would touch the one terminal to the white and then one to the green so T and T and then you would get your uh, voltage there it would show up but it's going to be higher so you get to divide by 10 so whatever that meter shows you divide by 10 and that's your current amp draw if you wanted to do it this way